30-day cardio challenge complete. Just did that. Boom. What's up, y'all? It's Red Pill Vegan. You know what time it is. I just completed the 30-day cardio challenge issued by Alex from Alpha Destiny, and this is the update video. I got a challenge that might just change your life. For the next 30 days, why don't you start doing cardio every single day? There it is. Now let's talk about it. I took on the 30-day cardio challenge just for fun, dealing with some injuries that are keeping me from lifting heavy, and I wanted to take advantage of the cardio, and why not do it every day to just max it out? So these are my results, starting on May 1st and going until May 30th. Now I know what some of you guys are gonna say, the lighting in the second picture is a little bit different. Well, I was at a different gym that day, but I did take a picture on the 29th at the same gym with the same lighting. So there's the comparison there. You can see I'm maintaining those results into the end of this challenge. And for all you Sherlock Holmes out there, here it is fully flexed in the same gym with the same lighting day one and day 29. Let's talk about what kind of cardio I was doing and for how long, and then I'll cover what kind of meals I was eating during the month of May. All right, guys, this was nothing special. It was primarily on the elliptical. Every gym has got it and it's pretty basic. I was also throwing in a couple days on the lateral trainer, which kind of mimics cross country skiing for a little variety. One of my goals was to include interval training each day. I didn't get interval training in each day, but I had a goal to do it and I'd say I got it in 85, 90% of my days. And when I say interval training, I'm talking about either high intensity intervals or medium intensity intervals, depending on how much juice I had left in the tank. And my favorite style of doing that is the Tabata. So a 20 second full gas run, followed by 10 seconds active recovery, and then a four minute block of just that. So if you're on the elliptical for 10 minutes, it's really easy to throw in a four minute high intensity Tabata, and that's a pretty good workout. Now, if you wanna push two Tabatas into a 12 minute workout, that's a really good workout. But I was on average throwing in one and then if I did my workout a little bit longer, running into a 20 minute workout, I'd usually get a second Tabata in there as well. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be completely honest. There were a couple days when I did not make it to the gym at all, but I do not consider that a failure of the challenge because I normally get between eight and 12,000 steps per day. But the days that I didn't make it on the gym were days that I was investing in my social life and the people that I care about. So on those days, I'm counting sex as cardio, and that's red pill vegan style, if you didn't know. So let's talk about what I ate on this challenge, which is what everybody wants to know. This is the twist, guys. This is the twist of the challenge. If you aren't aware, Alex from Alpha Destiny, to my knowledge, is a 100% plant-based athlete at this point. So I saw the challenge, and I decided I'm going to do this as a vegan 30-day cardio challenge. I don't want dairy products and meat and other things preventing me from getting the best results that I can get during this cardio challenge and eating lots of complex carbohydrates, lots of simple sugars, lots of fruit, gave me lots of energy to do this challenge and not be burned out and sweating my, my face off on the cardio machine with no energy. I had the energy to do the challenge every time I hit that machine, every time I hit the gym, had lots of energy, not using caffeine, not using stimulants, I don't take pre-workout. How about that? So, one of the things that I crushed big time during the month of May was this pancake recipe that I've been making. And I probably had that 15 days or more during the month of May. And this is a high protein pancake mix. We're talking 70 to 80 grams of protein in this one meal, and upwards of 200 grams of carbohydrates in that one meal so i was smashing pancakes with maple syrup sometimes a quarter cup maybe even a half cup of maple syrup when i get down because i eat big and i'm hungry and i don't restrict carbohydrates that's what we're doing around here guys and if y'all want to know a little bit more about that that high protein pancake recipe then drop me a comment down below because i could probably do a video about that for y'all but then some of the other things that i was eating of course we also got the usual suspects of oatmeal rice and smoothies but outside the box a little bit. A sandwich recipe I've been enjoying is hummus with tomato and basil. And something completely different, guys, is air popped 
popcorn, which I have absolutely fallen in love with. I can crush some air popped popcorn. And for those of y'all wondering, where do I get my protein on this cardio challenge? Don't forget that a few weeks back, I bought 32 pounds of beans and lentils when they went on sale. So you know I've been staying, staying legit with some chickpeas and some lentils around here. So I finished the challenge, and yes, it was a challenge. There were some days that I didn't want to go to the gym, but I went anyways. I got the 24-hour gym. Sometimes I didn't finish my day until 1 a.m., but I still went and did it, except for the days that I was tied up with other stuff that still counted as cardio. But that's just how I did the challenge. Okay, guys, to be honest with you, I'm just a novice lifter. I'm not the person to take you to intermediate or advanced, but if you're in the plant-based community or you're looking for the best results that you can get, and some of that other advice isn't working, then you need to seek out the best people in the community. And that's what I can do is direct you to the people that I think are trustworthy, that I think have the best plans. So this challenge was issued by Alex at Alpha Destiny. Now, I think I mentioned he's 100% plant-based at this point, and I would not hesitate to send you over to his channel to pick up Naturally Enhanced. So if you're looking for that yoked look and you're looking to get as big as possible, but you're on a plant-based diet and you've got some naysayers or whatever, why don't you get on Naturally Enhanced and take it to the next level? All right, another option, if you're looking for that lean and mean physique that also has some gains stacked on top of it, then the person I would send you to is Quality Gains. That's right, Florian over at Quality Gains. I just did an interview with him last week, one section on, on his channel and part two on my channel. I wouldn't hesitate to send you guys over to Florian at Quality Gains for coaching, meal plans and training all wrapped up in one, you wanna check out his premium package. I don't push a lot of people's products or services, but when it comes to men getting the best results they can in the gym on a plant-based diet, you wanna work with people who know this diet and know how to get you the results that you want. So I wouldn't hesitate to go over to Florian at Quality Gains, check out his website, and if you use the promo code RPV10, so Red Pill Vegan, RPV10, use that promo code and you'll get 10% off any plan on his website. And what I want y'all to do after this video is check out the interview that we did together last week. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that that'll pop up on the thumbnail at the end of this video. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.